Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, and if this is our first time meeting, hello, welcome. Be sure to say hi, uh, even if you're watching the replay. And if you're brand, brand new to me, be sure to uh, head over to my website afterwards. Jump on my email list because I send you business tips and tricks, and you can also uh, take a fun quiz. So get some free training and all that good stuff. Uh, if you are a fellow uh, follower that you've been, I don't know why I said fellow follower. I try to be fancy sometimes, but you know how it goes with live broadcasting. Uh, hey, Tabitha, welcome. Uh, if you have been following me, welcome. Be sure to say hello, even if you're watching the replay, so I can chat with you as well. And on this episode, I wanted to talk about being afraid going live. So let me know, even if you're watching the replay, do you go live or are you a little hesitant? Are you afraid to go live? Uh, I pose that question because I want to share with you what happened this morning, not with me. I can mess up all day long. That's all good. I don't care. Uh, but with uh, a newscast and how it all went out, played out, because it's really important for us to look at. It's not just us on an individual level, on an individual uh, case by case, business by business level. It's we got to look at the big picture and that it affects. We all go through this, no matter how how much of a pro you are, no matter what kind of expert you are or how good your tech is, things will happen. And that's okay. It's real life. Things happen. They All the time, things are out of our control. So we just have to look at that. Hey, Aaron, welcome. Uh, terrified as usual. Aaron, you're so good at... I have to look up, by the way, you guys, because I'm... My camera just wasn't working today, so I had to use the laptop, and so you know how it is. But Aaron, you go live inside the Hey Ed Network. You're awesome. You you got to go live more, uh, and I've seen you on your um, regular page too, which is good. Uh, so yes, let me know if you're going live or if you're afraid, and be specific as possible if you can. Why are you afraid? Like, if it's just oh, I'm just I don't like being on camera. I don't like uh, the way I sound. I, I don't have good lighting. I don't have a good camera. Uh, these are all, by the way, excuses that I had for myself. Uh, I kid you not. Back in the early days, if you would have seen my stuff, which some of it's still floating around out there, you would have been like, "Wow, wow, Ed, this is this is you were bad." <laughs> I'm just saying. Not necessarily that I'm great right now. I mean, I'm better because I've improved, right? Hey, Lori, welcome. Glad to see all my Edsters jumping in here. If you don't know what an Edster is or who an Edster is, I should say, uh, those are members of the Hey Ed Network. So super cool to see you guys and have you guys live. So tell me if you are afraid of going live. And if you are, tell me why, even if you're watching the replay. And I want to show you this news clip. Hopefully, uh, you know, Facebook won't like because eh, I'm going to have the audio. Hey, Tammy, welcome. Uh, afraid of looking silly? Yes. Lori says, no way. You're the bomb. Oh, thanks, Lori. I appreciate it. I try. Uh, Aaron says, it's mostly fear of being judged or someone going, uh, you're an idiot and I use all the tech lighting things as great excuses. It's true. Mickey, welcome. Uh, so yes, it, it's it's true. We come up with all these excuses, right? And and some some are could be legit. Like maybe it's really really dark and we don't have any extra light and we can't go get light, and so we lose that moment. It's like whatever. Okay, cool. But otherwise, um, it, it's just excuses that we have for ourselves. You guys can see in my office. I mean, it's not like it's it's not Instagram perfect. It's it is what it is. Um, and the way I have this this show, this episode set up, this is what I think most of us, and myself included, consider fancy. Meaning, I'm using my laptop, I have a special third-party program, I have my banner at the bottom, I can do these transitionals, uh, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Like, all this stuff is just bonus. It's not like you have to have this. The last few days I've been going live just from my phone because... My camera wasn't working, and that was enough for me. And also, it makes it easier when I want to bring people on, too. Uh, Tabitha says, going live is at the top of my to-do list, and I keep overthinking things. We all do. We all do. Listen, my intros, I will tell you guys right now. Can we Can we be honest? I'll be honest with you guys. I, t I talk with the Edsters a lot, you know, being real about everything. And I do that here, of course, with you guys. But let me just tell you, I have an intro literally written on my screen here 
for me to try to be more consistent with a streamlined introduction. So every time when I open the show, it's pretty straightforward, especially because there's going to be new people watching all the time. Uh, I get a lot of replay viewers. And I will tell you, I mess up that intro all day long. It is what it is. You just got to go with the flow and see what happens. Hey, Misty, welcome. Uh, Tammy says, no one has told me I was an idiot yet. Yeah, exactly. Right, Tammy? Yeah, that's the thing. We're going to have people that are not for us, uh, that we're not for them, and that's okay, and we just keep things moving. You know, it, it, it will happen. It's just like when we're in the grocery store or let's say Starbucks and somebody bumps into us and it's their fault and they are looking at us like we're the ones who bumped into them. Uh, or they say, you know, they spell your name wrong or something. It, you know, all these little things come up. So it, it's just like that, but it's online. So same thing happens. Uh, so let me show you this clip from this morning from Good Morning America. I don't know how many of you guys know Good Morning America. I try to watch it uh, at least a couple times a week just because there's so many different things that come on and help spark my ideas. And I was so glad that I watched it this morning and it was meant to be because of what I'm going to show you. And I want to hear what your thoughts are. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. And if Good Morning America is watching, I'm not trying to take any copyrights away from you or anything. I'm totally using this as a teachable moment. So there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and play this. And I just want you you hopefully you'll be able to hear it. If not, I can reiterate afterwards. So let me play. But there's some there's folks some in folks there. And it's going to take a second to load because the Twitter feed is weird. So while it's loading, let me just tell you that they're interviewing this um, mom who they're doing this whole series on uh, Mother's Day and being able to. Yep. So see okay, there we do go. This live. We want to talk to you. So he's doing this live on TV. Guys, Robert, are you there? Can, can I hear you? Can you hear us now, Sam? Can you hear us now, Sam? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 boy. Can we just turn up the monitor, guys? guys? Can we turn, can we turn it, up? it up? Just turn just it up and drag it over here and we'll try to. Do you guys see? On live TV, the millions of people there, and he's explaining what's happening and apologizing at the same time. So he goes on to say, you know, he just continues, impromptu, finishes up, like, hey, we lost audio, I can't hear you, this happened, oh well, we still have a segment to finish, so the show still has to go on, boom. Of course, in my head as I'm watching this... I was thinking, somebody get him a phone. Robin needs to be on the phone, get him a phone, and put him on speaker. You know, like, that's how my brain works. The techie part of me is like, where's our backup? And sometimes you have a backup to your backup to your backup. So it's one of those things. Tabitha says, I feel better already. See? It, it's those moments that we have to look at and think about. It happens to all of us. These are professionals working with high-end equipment, you guys. High-end equipment. This, their equipment is thousands and thousands of dollars. And they're all a huge team, huge network. And even they can have these moments where tech fails. It just doesn't work. So that's why it's important for us to remember that we all have this newscast, live broadcast option in the palm of our hands. And we don't need anything fancy. We just need an internet connection and a camera. That's it. And... Then, then what we can do is we show up, we deliver, and we engage like crazy. Those are my three core values. That's what I teach you guys. That's what you need to be doing. So when you start fearing the live broadcasting, acknowledge your fear, give yourself permission, and move forward with it. Um, there's there's different trainings that I have uh, that uh, I can help you with if you need it. Uh, if you're uh, a Hey Ed member or you become a Hey Ed member, there is a training in there on things you can do to help get you out of your box and be able to jump online. Because I will tell you, live broadcasting is going to change your business. It's a game changer. And uh, I love being able to do, at least this week so far, five days a week, including tomorrow, I'm already on to tomorrow, uh, going live every day again, because it's, I have so much to talk about. If you know me, you know that I have a lot to talk about. And I can 
you know, sprinkle that throughout the interwebs, but it's so nice to be able to jump on here and do it with you guys live and then also catch with catch up with you guys in the replay uh, because I have a lot of people that jump into the comments afterwards. So just remember this moment and know that you don't have to be perfect. You just have to have a topic up to three talking points and then hit that go live button and present. Show up, deliver your information, and then once you're done, engage with whoever jumps in and helps and talks with you. That's it. That's all. And I will say at the beginning when you start doing this, it is a little awkward. I'll tell you, Monday, I left my broadcast and I was like, you know what? That was rough. That was really rough, Ed, because I've been used to going once a week on a Tuesday. Uh, so I switched it up and I started on Monday. And after my broadcast, I was like, wow, I was rusty. I was really rusty. After Tuesday, not so bad. Yesterday, what's today? Today's Thursday. Yesterday, oh, I was on fire. I did three, I might have done four live broadcasts between my page, Instagram, and the Hey Ed Network. Uh, but I was on fire and I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. So not everyone is going to be into live broadcasting like me. I get that. I understand that. Um, but if you are going to have your business on Facebook, and you do want to stand out, you are going to have to start doing this. And uh, that may be you in front of the camera. That may be you doing some voiceover stuff with video setup like I have here where you can show off your screen. Um, there's different alternatives for you so you don't have to always be in front. Uh, you can also have somebody on your team do it. But it's very important to, to do this. So keep that in mind. Also keep an eye out on the business page here. Uh, for those who are following my business page here on Facebook, because I am going to hopefully tonight add in some uh, upcoming workshops. So I'm going to have some upcoming workshops that uh, are going to cover Facebook and Instagram and also Facebook events and how to use them. I've been kind of like holding on to these skills and I haven't really been sharing them all in one lump sum. So I decided to open up my calendar and go ahead and do some of those workshops for you guys coming up, I think starting already next week. So keep an eye out for that. There won't be on Facebook. So uh, I will make a Facebook event for them. And then that will have the details. And uh, yeah, if you need anything, just let me know. And if you want to dive deeper or uh, get tech help as well as business help, be sure to check out the heyednetwork.com. That's where I'm at all the time and helping you guys who are in there. So I will see you back here uh, tomorrow. I don't have a specific time because I've been kind of testing different times all week long and just going with the flow. And that's all we have to do. So until next time, have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Take care.